This is the heyday, the golden age of Jedi that's, that exists in the world we have now. In episode two, I've watched all these swashbuckling films all my life. You know, I was a huge uh, Errol Flynn fan when I was a kid. And this seems to be the next step in the fencing age. I mean, Jedi, as I've always said before, they've chosen a sword in a time of, you know, laser guns. So they better be damn good with it. All right, all right. <laughs> All Jedi don't fight exactly alike. An elegant weapon. When we started, there was a particular style developed. It's um, a combination of samurai and Western sword fighting. And when we did Phantom, we sort of progressed that style. You know, Nick Gillard uh, creates a, a unique fighting style for each of the Jedi, and, and how it sort of reveals a certain element of their personality. Other Jedis have other ones, but that's, that's the one, isn't it? And it's mine. You have to distinguish between the characters. So you, you have to read the script a lot of times and understand the character. A lot of the aggression that I hold in my character is exemplified in my fighting style. You just, he understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he moves really well, he's, he's tough. Anakin maybe loses control a little bit and some of the darkness emerges, uh, whereas a Jedi normally would have to be much more in control of the situation. They're like marshals in the Old West. They're the keepers of the peace. They're given um, assignments to uh, resolve conflicts. This Jedi walks by and ruins my action. With the ultimate right. threat of force if things aren't resolved. I said don't touch it. Yo, what? Anakin, um, who's much more youthful, and I think Obi-Wan Kenobi is slightly uh, more sedate. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, George. He's much more confident now. It's ten years or so have passed, I think. He's become the master, not the apprentice anymore. Obi-Wan, uh, his fighting style is much more by the book, uh, even though he's obviously uh, very skilled. He has uh, got extraordinary balance and hand-eye coordination. But yeah, it's a long process, and not just them getting the moves, but them keeping the character. Getting the feet right and getting the steps so you can actually do it. It's a lot like dance choreography. Uh, your feet have to be right so that the strikes look correct. <laughs> trying to go much more classical. You know, some of the characters are a real master swordsman, better than anything we've seen so far. Excellent. I'm trying to figure out who we had to talk to about your light color, your lightsaber color. Oh, well, good guys are, good guys are green and blue, bad guys are red. That's just the way it works. No purple left? You, you might get purple. It would be a shame for me to participate in a film like this and never get to use my lightsaber. We've not seen Mace fight yet, and we know that he's second only to Yoda. Good to G.O. I guess because I'm such a fan of uh, Japanese samurai movies, and I watched a lot of uh, kendo fights and a lot of stuff. I'm doing pretty good at it. I was thinking about a style for him, but it's Sam Jackson style, you know, that he has so much style of his own. Since I'm supposedly the second baddest person in the universe, uh, I'm pretty efficient. I don't do a lot of uh, fancy sword twirling or anything. I, I dispense people pretty quickly. Use as little energy as possible, but I'm pretty lethal. Okay, cool with that? Yeah, I think this is the first time that we really get to see all the Jedi in action, uh, which is an amazing sight. But are you using the force on the end there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. with him, are you making him flop around like a dead fish? No. That, say you go in the mic. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 that's his own thing, it's gas. 